today we are going to make a circle doodle curly poodle. We're going to be making this cute little friendly poodle dog using curly lines. Now you might want to practice drawing some curly lines first. You can use a pencil or a pen, a crayon or marker. I'm going to be using this black permanent marker. So I'm going to start off just practicing drawing some curly lines. And when I'm drawing curly lines, sometimes it helps me to think loop-de-loop-de-loop-de-loop. -loop -de -loop -de -loop. So I'm just gonna doodle some curly lines here. You can make your curly lines curl downward like this. Loop-de-loop-de-loop-de-loop. -loop -de -loop -de -loop. Or your curly lines might curl upwards like this. Loop, de loop, de loop, de loop. Whatever you do, I would practice drawing some big curly lines like this and practice drawing some tiny little curly lines like this because we're going to be using some tiny curly lines for our curly doodle, curly poodle. So now that I've practiced drawing some curly lines, I'm going to flip to a new page and I'm going to draw two curly circles in the middle of my page and that's going to help form the body of my poodle. I'm going to put one curly circle over here and it's about the size, a little bigger than a quarter and it doesn't need to be perfect. That one's kind of more oval shaped, that's okay. And I'm gonna make another one right next to it. Just like that. Next, I'm gonna draw some of the body connecting these two poof balls here. So I'm going to draw a curly line coming this way and a curly line right underneath it. Next I need to draw the head of my poodle and that's going to be a little bit smaller than this poof here. So a smaller little circle here again using that curly line. To draw the neck part that's connecting the head with the body. So I'm going to draw a little curly line coming down this way and another little curly line right next to it. And now we need the little muzzle of our dog over here and that's going to be even smaller. And it's got a little tuft of curly hair on top. So just like another little cloud. And then we're gonna draw the ear coming out to the side. And kind of flopping in the breeze. To make it look like a face, we need to add an eye. So I'm just gonna draw a circle here. And I'm gonna add a little black nose over here. You can even draw a little poodle's tongue sticking out like that. Next, our poodle needs some legs. So I'm going to draw one, one curly leg coming down this way. And another curly leg coming down this way. And a hind leg here, coming down and back up, and one coming out this way, like it's trotting, it's going on a little walk, there we go. And lastly, we need a little tail over here, so I'm going to draw another little curly poof of a circle, and oh, little curls here and there to attach our tail to our backside. 
Now you can add all kinds of fun details. You could add a collar, you could add a leash, you could add a bow, you could add the street or the sidewalk or some grass wherever our poodle is walking. You can use colored pencils, markers, or crayons to add color wherever your imagination takes you. so fun drawing this circle doodle curly poodle and I even added the owner taking the poodle for a walk and I thought that it looked nice having our little curly poodle strolling through the Parisian park with the Eiffel Tower in the background. How fun! Well I hope you had fun drawing too. See you next time. The end!